hate it when I do that. Uh, there we go. Give us a second. I should be with you shortly. Quick weather forecast. By the way, a man's wandering past with a stick and a rucksack. And he's going for it. A few little clouds. A few little clouds. Absolutely nothing is happening on the street. Right, here we go. Two, three, four. Let it soak in for a second. I was like a, a machine this morning. I was like a... Oh, let's get it up at half past five. Uh... 40 minutes of yoga. Because that's, that's you know, I'm just a disciplined, disciplined person. Anyway, after 40 minutes of vigorous yoga, even some of the, uh, even did some of the difficult ones. I don't do, downward dog or upward cat or whatever it's called because uh, it gives me terrible wind and uh, it ruins the moment really so I uh, I don't do that one but other than that I was going for it anyway. I had a little sit I, I had a little sit down on the settee because uh, I think I deserved it I woke up about uh, 10 minutes ago. Um, I quite like the background to this, to this. So it's just going to have a little bit of a bitty thing that I've lost the power of speech. Uh, what's going off there? Just down the bottom. Oh, old lady. She's got a coat on. She don't look like particularly too enthusiastic about life. She's got a coat on. There. Uh, right, there's a couple now walking from the uh, the fair coat no knickers way, and they're both rocking male and female. They're similar shapes, and they're both rocking uh, matching three quarter trousers. I do, I do like a three-quarter trouser myself. Uh, a nice pair of three-quarter trousers. And my Crocs, of which I've got four pairs. I love my Crocs. Um... In fact, it's Father's Day soon, and I'm hoping I get some crops. Uh, there's some ladies. There's a rather skinny one and a rather large one, and uh, I'm not sure if they're in the same the same family. Again, approaching from the uh, fur coat, no knickers end. 
If you are familiar with Edwin Stowe, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Paddock Close and Beyond. I don't go about observing what people um, peg out. I, d I don't do this. This is just a sort of a random statement. Please don't get me wrong or right. Um, but uh, I have no idea what their uh, underwear situation is because in the fur coat, no knickers end of the village. Uh, they're way too posh to peg washing out on the line. Way too posh. I think that's uh, that's the very very last wash for this for that particular uh, piece. I'll show you what I've been doing with the pencil. So we'll be there in a second. Okay, so this is a super soft pencil and I've got a lovely grainy surface on this paper so it's very nice for sketching. And this pencil is wax based so when you paint on top of it it will create a resist So we'll be developing the drawing, um, why I sang that? We'll be developing this drawing. I will be using words like developing this drawing because there's absolutely no need for the thing before drawing. You could say I will be drawing and that will be fine. But developing the drawing sounds... Uh, it sounds all arty and it sounds like I'm doing something worthwhile. Whereas just drawing doesn't. So I will be developing the drawing or drawing this picture. Um, off camera because I think watching somebody's drawing is, is like watching paint dry ba -ba 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 -ba, let it soak in Anybody watching this uh, later on and thinks, oh, it must be uh, nice to watch it live and then you can interact with him and, and have a little chat. Um, I've got absolutely no one here.
Jillian. Hello. Do you know if you want me to stop calling you Jillian and I, you want me to start calling you Jill, I, I will do. I'm not going to. Um, I'm not going to shorten your name unless absolutely invited. I can't wave to you now because the thing's gone up there and I'll press something and it'll turn off oh I've done it I'm back Um, I'm starting to look like uh, a person that's lived under a bridge for uh, several years. So I thought um, I'd have a little shave. Uh, I cannot find my charger. You think, well, why do you need a charger to have a shave? I'm not getting rid of the whole of the beard. I quite like it. Um, but I can't find my charger anywhere. Um It's a very, very brave man to ask her downstairs where something is. Um, even though nine times out of ten she has moved it or thrown it away. If um, driving to the coast um, to check your eyesight is uh, a thing now, um, what else you could do to check your eyesight? Tree surgery. Yeah. And what sort of thing would Dominic Cummings do to check his hearing? I think we're back to tree surgery again. Morning, Mish. In fact, tree surgery, Dominic could um, he could check all his senses by uh, doing a bit of tree surgery. Um. He could check his sense of smell by uh, leaving the gas on.
anyone suggesting that uh, just because it was his wife's birthday that's why they went to that castle which is lovely by the way when the lockdowns um, over which is a beautiful part of the country that's Durham, in Durham. it's just lovely anyway the fact that his dad's got uh, a cottage on his farm. He's got two or three cottages on his farm. It's pretty handy. Some might say that uh, as a second home because if it did then obviously he wouldn't have been allowed to uh, to go there <laughs> thank you so much Mish This one's quite subtle. The wash isn't so. Uh, I love this bit here. I don't want to damage that. Right. I should grab a pencil and show you how I've been building up. That would also be a good way of uh, Dominic um, testing his uh, his eyesight, his hearing, his sense of smell. He could check the whole lot by setting a small fire in the uh, kitchen and then going upstairs and have a nap, something like that, just to test to see everything's working all right. Okay, I'm going to do kneading, child care, white white cereal. Now I um, was the least important person in our uh, family when my kids were little, so I was the one who did the childcare thing. I took them to school, picked them up, um, did the hospital visits, this, that and that. Uh, I did all that. And I was the one who took time off when they were ill. I was the one they rang from school when my youngest was uh, faking illness. I'm going to mention her by name because she's like a mother. Terrifying. Um, so, what you do with um, when you've got um, flu symptoms when you're the, uh, the carer at home in the real world is 
you you carry on right you don't go racing around you might as i if things look really bad it might yeah you you just carry on you have to you've got no other choice um you don't want other people to get the flu and uh so you carry on now you might say um well they thought it was the covid 19 thing the vast majority of people who get it get flu symptoms and since dominic and his wife were relatively young um what's going off there oh there's a lot of activity this morning a lot of activity there's another couple with matching three-quarters trousers yeah one's wearing flip-flops not entirely sure this is some health and safety issues with flip-flops i don't mind a flip-flop i don't i'm not against flip-flops but i think they're for the beach i don't think they're for everyday wear not like your croc Thank you. You've not told me, Gillian, if I can call you Jill yet, I expect you to come in straight away and say, oh, no, please call me Jill. But you're not having it. I got a pencil to show you something, and then I didn't do anything with said pencil. I just carried on waffling. washers are finished on two it will be just this on and i'm just going to leave this to soak in i think and then we're getting around to finishing them off right have a look through the window I have a puff on my vape. I think I'm going to go downstairs and shout at some pigeons. I'll just let you have a closer look at this. Now I should go and shout at some pigeons. There you go. Look at that. Thank you for joining me. Oh, okay, Jill. Or Gil. <laughs> I'm so funny. Is that, can I call you Jill or do I have to call you Gil? Okay. Toodle pip.